Good morning, everyone. Our opening hymn will be taken from the CBW3, number 482, Eye Has Not Seen. We will sing verse 1, number 482. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. When pain and sorrow weigh us down, be near to us, O Lord. Forgive the weakness of our faith and bear us up within your peaceful world. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Good morning to all and to all joining us online. I'm quite happy that uh, the driveway is finally uh, paved. No more potholes, no more, uh, uh, no, no more tires, uh, uh, tire problems for that matter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends, Today we celebrate the feast day of St. John Chrysostom, who in his time in the fifth century was a leading bishop, priest, and pastor, who was well-renowned for his eloquence, for his many writings and teachings, but most especially his love for God and his desire to share that love and that joy with all. To prepare ourselves, let us call to mind our sins before our Lord and before one another. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of your Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Our Mass, too, is offered for the repose of Daniel Allen and a special intention for Len Priscilla. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, who will that the Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering, grant us, we pray, that instructed by his teachings, we may be strengthened through the example of his, invinc of his invincible patience. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. If you have been raised with Christ, Seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever is in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. These are the ways you also once followed when you were living that life. But now you must get rid of all such things, 
anger, wrath, malice, slander, abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices and have clothed yourself with a new self, which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. In that renewal there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, the Lord is compassionate to all creatures. The Lord Lord is is compassionate compassionate to to all creatures. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord Lord is is compassionate compassionate to to all creatures. All your works shall give you thanks, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power. The Lord Lord is is compassionate compassionate to to all creatures. creatures. Your faithful make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord Lord is is compassionate compassionate to to all creatures. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, uh, our Gospel today seems to be a complete paradox at first glance. How can the poor, the hungry, the sorrowing, and the persecuted be blessed or happy. At first glance, this can, seem, this can be seen as a defeatist attitude. This is what Karl Marx refers to when he insisted that religion was the opium of the people. He erroneously thinks that the church is preaching to the exploited proletariat the message of passive suffering. You just suffer patiently now because in the next life, you will have eternal happiness. Jesus, however, is not encouraging or endorsing a passive or fatalistic attitude. Rather, he is sending a powerful reminder to all about the undeniable reality of life, that nothing is ever permanent in this world. Everything is passing away. For those who are suffering, 
He is giving them hope towards a better future. In due time, all these sufferings are passing away, and soon their time of liberation and victory will come. So rejoice and be glad. And for those who are enjoying abundance of material wealth, comfort, and human praise, they ought to remember that all these will soon be over. They will eventually lose all these later or sooner. So woe to you. But on a deeper level, this teaching highlights the essential importance of God in our life and in the life of the world. Those who are poor and suffering have no money or human power to rely on. They have no one else to turn to but God alone. So being with God, they are truly fortunate and happy. After all, this is what heaven is all about. The saints and angels in heaven are perfectly happy because they enjoy the beatific vision of God. They are in complete communion with God and see our Lord face to face. On the other hand, those who are obsessed with their wealth and selfish agenda do not even remember God. They rely on worldly things and even exploit others in their pursuit of these, of these temporal realities. They are the ones who are truly unfortunate because God is not with them. When all these things pass away, they are left with absolutely nothing. When I was sick, lying in a hospital, no material wealth of mine was going to give me any comfort, but only the faith of our Lord. My faith was really the only thing at the end of the day, and the relationships that I had with family, with friends, and our community here that kept me going through those very dark times. So at the end of the day, our teaching today, friends, is a warning against self-sufficiency and overindulgence in worldly things. This is also an invitation to put our total focus on our Lord and rely fully in his providence and love. True and lasting happiness, after all, is found not in creatures, although, I mean, dogs, I, I, I find a lot of happiness in dogs, but in the possession of the Creator, who is the source of everything. Dear friends, as we rise, mindful of God's loving concern, we, uh, we bring our needs before him, and our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church and her work of spreading the gospel to all the ends of the earth, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who hold positions of power in our world, may God renew their commitment to the common good, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer rejection in any form, may God bring peace to their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For members of our faith community, on our journey of discipleship, may God deepen our commitment to our baptismal call. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been affected by the recent earthquake in Morocco, and the torrential uh, flooding in Libya, and for those who are there to care and help in any way they can, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, this morning we remember Daniel Allen. May God soon bring them to eternal rest in him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. At this Mass, too, we bring forth our special intention for Len Pisilla, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear the prayers we present to you with confidence that you always take care of our needs. We offer this in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Chrysostom be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the feast of St. John Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Daniel and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. John Chrysostom, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of our Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
to all joining us online, the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that these mysteries we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm us in your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother in prayer at this time. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod, so now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. Dear friends, uh, we, of course, pray for our elementary schools. Uh, uh, 10 o'clock and 12.30 today, they will be coming to celebrate Mass with us here at St. Joseph's. And a reminder, too, that this morning, uh, tomorrow morning, our morning Mass will be divided up at 8.20 and 9.40 as we welcome uh, Blessed Trinity um, to celebrate our morning Masses, 8.20 and 9.40 tomorrow morning. So you can choose either one if you wish. The Lord be with you. May God's blessing be upon us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Our concluding hymn will be Amazing Grace, number 480 in the CBW3, number 480. We will sing verse 1. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved and strengthened me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see.